Balloons released in honor of a little boy who died in a tragic accident, left in a hot daycare bus for hours. We first told you about this last night on our newscast at 10 o'clock. Now come the questions and the grand jury investigation. Our Andy Sirota joining us live in Northwest Houston at that daycare. Andy? Bill, today this daycare here was closed as the investigation into how this tragedy occurred moves forward. Tonight, Raymond Pryor's family is asking for privacy and prayers. We love you, RJ! We love Less than 24 hours after Raymond Pryor's death, members of his family released a bunch of white balloons in his honor. The three-year-old passed away last night after he was apparently left inside of his daycare's bus for almost four hours. The temperature on that bus was 113 degrees, taken by deputies after the doors were open to rescue him. Tonight, police are now thoroughly reviewing the daycare's policies and procedures and whether they were followed, including whether employees checked the bus or conducted a head count to make sure all of the kids were accounted for. They plan on digging into the background of the bus driver, the chaperone, and the three-year-old victim. They also intend on talking with the children and say everyone involved is cooperating. It's going to be a long process because we want to do everything right. We want to be methodical. We don't want to miss anything. There's a lot of things out there we have to look at. There's a lot of questions that y'all ask that we will have answers for. We just don't have them yet. State inspection records show the daycare center has a history of violations, seven deficiencies, two listed as high risk in 2015. The daycare purchased two new vans, but they were not equipped with electronic child safety alarms. Now, once this investigation is complete, the findings will be turned over to the Harris County District Attorney and a grand jury will determine whether criminal charges should be filed in this case. The daycare has declined to comment. Live in Northwest Houston tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.